doesn't know any of what's being planned or anything that's being discussed. And I thought it's kind of interesting that I don't really see a student voice in this. So I think that if you're planning on making something for the students, then it's important that you have the customer actually give you their viewpoint on what it is that they're looking for. So with, with that being said, I was, um, I started asking questions and I met with Kevin afterwards and uh, immediately started getting onto multiple uh, projects for producing various um, productions. We went to Urban Tech Connect, Digital Hollywood, AT&T Shape, and a variety of places. And uh, that led me to um, really want to immerse myself in media and take more media classes. And that has led me now to be the president of the media club. And I'm glad to have my friend Donna here, who is uh, the vice president of our club. Uh, and we uh, produced several shows. And uh, we're now working on a short feature length film. And it's just, it's just snowballs. And um, the, the only real thing that I can say is that it's just constantly showing up. Uh, repeatedly, uh, that's like I'd say 75 to not 80 percent of the job. Uh, the other part of it is just planning and communication, and um, so with with that, I'm really excited because, um, as uh, Kevin mentioned, that we're working on that um, I'm going to be participating, I should say, in a eight-week project um, in which we're going to be learning um, soft skills, how to interview. How to project manage um, team team workshops and uh, a variety of things to become uh, developers and to develop uh, new products that can help. Um, well, I would I would like to develop new products that will help bridge the gap between the students and the industry members in 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 a way that is monetizable and beneficial for both sides. In which students, even if they have no experience or they're just interested in media can actually make productions and gain an income and get actual advice and education from more professional and business-like industry members. And industry members can actually find new content and new um, up and rising talents from this, this pool of um, this sort of platform. So I'm really excited. And uh, I don't want to take up too much time, but that sort of summarizes what I hope to achieve. OK. And so Donovan, I, I defer to you. Do we have like another minute, 55 seconds? Okay, great. So I'm going to show some of Lawrence's work. This is at um, this is at Digital Hollywood last year, and Digital Hollywood happens two times a year in October and in May. And this is Lawrence's capture, his editing, and it features Shoney. My name is Shoni Monet, and I'm from SMC Media Makers, and I'm here representing Santa Monica College here at Digital Hollywood, in which we've been invited by the organizer, Victor Harwood, to not only create a sort of sizzle reel slash highlight reel of this event, but to also document our experiences and the experience of other people here at this event and what they've experienced um, in their field of work and what they've experienced here in networking at Digital Hollywood. You know, when you come to Digital Hollywood today, of course, we're no longer a tech show. We're really a mainstream entertainment conference where everyone from feature filmmakers, indie filmmakers, uh, to virtual reality and augmented reality,